Hey friends, welcome to my kitchen today. If you're new, I'm Peggy. Thanks for hanging out with me. Today, we're gonna make bone broth in an Instant Pot. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super easy, so let's get started. So the first thing that this starts with is one of these, a whole chicken. You're gonna pick one of these up. It's much more affordable than buying pieces of chicken, and you can roast this up for your family, or you can just buy a rotisserie chicken from Costco or Sam's Club or your grocery store. You can use any of those. A whole chicken that has all of the bones, you're gonna eat the meal first, and then what you're left with is all of the bones, any extra skin, anything like that. You're gonna throw that all into a bag, and if you can't deal with it right now to make bone broth, you're gonna throw that bag into your freezer. Okay, here's my bag, and it's got a chicken in it, some bones, the whole frame is a nice way of saying it. The whole chicken frame that was left over from roasting a chicken is in here. And then I've also got a lot of vegetable scraps in here from different meals, cutting up vegetables. There are some onion scraps in here, including the skin. There are some little pieces of peppers, pieces of squash, like the tops and bottoms. You can save all of your vegetable scraps, any herbs, things like that, and throw them right into this bag with your chicken frame. Or you can keep a separate bag with your vegetable scraps. But all of this is going to go into your Instant Pot for the chicken bone broth. Okay, this is my Instant Pot. And to the Instant Pot, I'm gonna add all of this. Again, this is the chicken frame and a bunch of different vegetable scraps. Just gonna make sure it all fits in there okay. Now we're gonna add water to this. So I'm gonna take the insert out and fill it up with water. And I always fill it up to the max line right here. Okay, we've got it back in our Instant Pot now. And now we're gonna add about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You could also use white wine if you had that, just something acidic that will help leach out the minerals from the bones. So at this point, you could add salt or other seasonings that you want for your bone broth. I typically leave the salt out. There's usually some seasoning on my chicken already. And then this way I can just add salt to whatever dish I'm using the bone broth to make and it will help me control the salt level a little better. Okay, so to recap, all I've got in here are the chicken frame, the vegetable scraps, some water to the max line, and about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. So now you're gonna make sure that your Instant Pot is on sealing, not venting. You're gonna put your lid on. There we go. And you're gonna set it to pressure cook, and you're gonna go for four hours. Get that going. Once the four hours are up, you're gonna set it on pressure cook for four more hours. So eight hours total, and then it'll be finished. It's been eight hours and our bone broth is all done. Once the eight hours are up, then you're gonna want to move it over to venting to let all of the pressure out, or you can just let it sit for a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, to let the pressure release naturally, and you can move it to venting then, and it will be ready for you to open it up. Here it is all finished. It's sizzling, simmering a little bit. You can let it cool down some, or you can go ahead and strain it and let it cool in the bowl. Okay, to your sink, add a bowl and a colander or a strainer of some kind. You know you've done a really good job with your bone broth if your bones break really easily like this. If you can get up to a bone and you can just snap it really easily. Once it has cooled in your bowl, you can use whatever containers of your choice to store it. I usually like to use quart jars, so I'll use my measuring cup there to get it into the different quart jars. And then this can store in the refrigerator for about a week. Or alternatively, you could can these and it'll last for a year. Or you can pour 
the contents into a freezer bag and you could freeze that and it will also last for a year. So lots of different options and we love to use this in rice, in soups, in cooking lots of gravies, all different ways to add more nutrition to our meals. There you have it, chicken bone broth in an Instant Pot. It's super easy and you can make bone broth every time you eat a roasted chicken. Thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen today and I'll see you next time.